today we are going to look at a new custom visual, Tree Map Bar Chart by MAQ Software. This visual allows you to display hierarchical data in sets of colored rectangles in the form of a bar chart. The gradient effect and the size of the bricks act as performance indicators. The visual has many key features, including an adjustable orientation to convert the bar chart into a column chart, indicators for the total value and data labels, and customizable text and backgrounds. It also includes tooltips with additional insights, data arranged by color, zooming animation, cross-filtering on legend values, axis values, and bricks, bookmarks, and drill down. To use this visual, you must enter data into the axis, legend, and value fields, which are mandatory. The sub-legend and tooltip fields are not mandatory. The axis field contains the category values for the bar chart. The legend field is used to color the bricks according to the category values. The sub-legend field breaks down a brick into multiple subcategories. The value field accepts numeric values to map to the category values. You can add data to the tooltip field to show additional information. Once the mandatory data fields are in place, the visual is rendered. Let's look at some of the features of this visual. To change the chart orientation, go to the formatting pane and select the horizontal or vertical orientation. You can also change the data color, which is then updated in the legend. The data you choose in the sub-legend field will split a brick into multiple sub-bricks with varying opacities depending on the measure value. The data colors for the groups are customizable in the format pane in the data colors tab. In the legend field, you can enable or disable the legend display, change the position of the legend to the top or bottom of the visual, change the label color of the legend item, and change the legend text size. You can change the data label settings in the formatting pane. You can enable or disable the labels by turning the toggle on or off. You can change the color, text size, or font family of the data labels. You can also turn the toggle on or off for the text background for data labels. If the toggle is on, the background color and the opacity of the data labels can be changed. You can change the axis label setting in the formatting pane as well. You can change the color, text size, and font family of the axis labels. You can also change the settings for the total labels. You can choose to enable or disable total labels by turning the toggle on or off. You can change the color, text size, or font family of the total labels. You can also change the display units and decimal places of the total labels. There's also a toggle for the animation settings. You can enable or disable the animation by turning the toggle on or off in the formatting pane. If the toggle is off, cross-filtering takes place. If the toggle is on, animation takes place. For example, when I click on Concord, the chart expands and drills down to one granular level. When I again click on Concord, the chart expands again. If I click outside the bricks, the display zooms out and the chart moves up one level. You can change the border settings in the formatting pane. There are options to change the stroke color, the stroke width, and the border opacity of individual bricks. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions about this visual or you need a similar business solution, feel free to contact MAQ Software at sales at maqsoftware.com.